Thank you very much. Our final speaker tonight uh, is, when I talk to my football players at SAU, who do you like? Who are your teachers you like? And this name comes up quite often. And even non-athletes have talked about her. But I guess if there's something of a closest form of a rock star in the faculty at Southern Oregon University, it's Precious Yamaguchi, Associate Professor in Communications. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm so happy to be here and have this opportunity to welcome our global friends and family, our Japan All-Stars, and our Southern Oregon community. My name is Dr. Precious Yamaguchi. I am a professor in communication and also Kose, fifth generation Japanese American. For many of my students who know me, they know that I have a passion and a uh, deep excitement about traveling. When we look at media, we oftentimes see television shows and Instagram accounts and all different types of media that make it look like traveling and cultural interaction are easy and seamless. But after having traveled to 40 different countries, I know that uh, traveling is definitely challenging Cultural interaction can be frustrating sometimes, but it is an incredibly rewarding experience. Growing up as a child, I didn't have the opportunity to travel abroad with my parents or go to Japan. It wasn't until later in life. And a lot of it was due to my father, who being Japanese American, he's very, very embarrassed that he didn't know how to speak Japanese, didn't know some of the cultural traditions, and even though he had a certain, certain amount of pride, he was very scared to go to Japan. My family's history is complex because all four of my uh, grandparents were in the World War II internment camps like you've heard about today from some of our speakers. So when I was 22 years old, I had the wonderful opportunity with my brother when he was 17 to travel to Japan for the first time. And I was very excited. It was about 2003 and the internet was available, but not like how it is today with a lot of detail and reviews and all kinds of information. And we were traveling on a $1,000 budget, which is a small budget you're in the US or in Japan. When we arrived in Japan, we were going to be there for almost two weeks, and we made a lot of cultural mistakes. There was no, G we didn't have GPS or iPhones or different type of navigational technology, so when we were in Tokyo, we were very lost all of the time, and uh, a lot of times we were pulling out our paper map, trying to just find our hotel. And one day we were just walking around Tokyo, looking for our hotel, looking for our hotel. And finally we asked the street cleaner to please help us, we can't get to our hotel. And he, not knowing any English, and us not knowing any, any Japanese, told us to follow him. We followed him and he walked a block and another block and another block and he walked my brother and I 10 blocks to our hotel in weather just like this today. And even though uh, we tried to thank him and give him a tip, he just continued to walk back to where he had come from at his position of cleaning. And it was small things like this that I will remember forever. Another mistake we made is when we went to Nagano, Japan, in the mountains. My brother and I, we took uh, two trains, a bus, and a taxi to get to our hotel in Nagano, in the mountains. When we finally arrived at our hotel after several hours of traveling, we noticed at our hotel there was no families or no uh, backpackers or no people just traveling by themselves and we realized that we were at a love a love hotel <laughs> my brother and I and um, we had to check in and we tried to make some phone calls 
to try and book other hotels, but nothing was available. When my brother and I look back on this uh, situation in Japan, we both agree that it was actually one of the best things that happened to us because we were uh, so awkwardly at the Love Hotel as brother and sister, so we tried to make sure that we did as many things as we could outside of the hotel. We went hiking, we saw all kinds of wildlife, and we also stumbled upon some of the smallest, tiniest little mountain villages outside of Nagano and had some of the best food and met some of the nicest people even though we didn't know the language. As you travel during your trip here in Oregon, like my brother and I, I hope that you meet many people in Ashland and in Oregon who are patient, kind, and understanding as we did when we were in Japan. And if you make mistakes, even the most embarrassing ones, will be some of your most fondest memories when you look back. I wish you all the best and to enjoy the sights, the food, the terrain, and most of all, the people that you encounter. Kosecho uh, arigato gozaimasu. Okay, that concludes our uh, 2019 Sir Grimble Peace Ceremony. Let me leave you with a couple of thoughts real quick here. Uh, Coach Bo talked about Dave Kitchell. Dave Kitchell will be inducted in the Pacific Grimble Hall of Fame this year. Uh, he'll be one of the inductees, and uh, his wife and his kids will be at the game on Friday, so that's a very special day, and obviously he's left us with a lot of memories. As I look back on this event and the times that I've been a part of this, um, just this last weekend, talking about the 50th anniversary of the man on the moon. I remember watching the documentaries this weekend and I saw the, the astronauts were looking back from the moon at the earth. And they said they were just so stunned looking back that that's where they came from, the small blue dot in space. And it almost, they almost swelled up in tears because at that time in the 1960s, it was not a very friendly world. We were fighting the Vietnam War, there was all kinds of unrest in our own country, and, you know, they were, they were reflecting that we were not taking care of our Earth, just looking at it from that perspective. It's hard to see that when we're in our own little communities and we have our little things we're trying to do. But when you look at that perspective and how small that world is, okay, we are all responsible for going forward. Okay? It starts with, you know, not, not nuking people. It starts with, you know, taking care of the environment. These are things as young people and programs like this are hopefully helping you learn teach you so that you go on and make this a better place. You're all part of something bigger than yourselves. I appreciate you. Have fun this week. Have a great weekend. Let's end with uh, uh, Kizuna, which is the Japanese for bonding on three, okay? Here we go. One, two, three. Oh, let's do that again. One, two, three. All right, good. Thank you very much.